Hello guys, welcome back to Carry Code. In the last video, we have used AntiScrapper to scrap the tweets from Twitter in Python. If you didn't watch it yet, click on the i button. Now, in this video, let me show you the way to scrap the tweets without any code or API. Without any further delay, let's go to work. So here in this video, we are using this website called Appify. Let's search for it. The website name is appify.com. After you go into this appify.com, you see here sign up for free. Click on it. Just sign up with your Gmail account. It will load. So this is the sign up page. You can see here. $5 of platform free usage every month. So every month you will be getting $5 to use this platform for free. After $5, as a service per usage, uh, we have to pay when we use any service. Let's sign up with our Google account. We have to give username here. I'm using KDCodeYT. Continue. You can select the language you are comfortable with. I'm selecting these three languages here. I've selected all of them. So now this is the UI for this website. Let's skip the tour. And if you see here, it is in store tab. Here in this store, we can search for actors. So actors in a sense, they are the ready-made automation projects uh, built by some other persons. We can also make an actors in this website. But for now, we want to scrap data from Twitter, right? So we have to search for Twitter scrap. Let me search for Twitter. So we got so many projects here. And I just want to mention one thing. If I zoom here, if you see here, it is showing a memory and a free usage details here. The limit for memory is 8GB and free usage it is $5. In the sign-up page only we have seen the platform fee is free for uh, first $5. Uh, every month it will be giving the $5. So we can use this website uh, to scrap this data for $5 for free. And then we have to pay as per service we are using. So let me go into a service and quickly show you the things. Then you can understand more better. So I search for Twitter projects here for scrapping. Let me change the pricing models here. I want to pay per result. But as you see, we have $5 free usage. We can use it uh, as per our usage. Let me go to the first Twitter scrapper project. If you see here, it is saying that $3.50 per 100 post. So what it is saying is, if we retrieve 1000 post, it will be taking $3 from our $5 uh, free usage. And if you want to use more, you have to pay for it. And if I go to second project, Twitter URL scrapper. So if you see here, it is $2.5 per 1000 post. So what it is saying is, so for every 1000 post we are retrieving, it will be taking $2.5. And if I select the third project here, it is $1.5 per 1000 tweets. That is, if we retrieve 1000 tweets, then we have to pay $1.5. And if I go to this, as compared to the previous projects, it is showing 0 0.1 dollars per 1000 tweets, which is reasonable. So if we retrieve 1000 tweets, we have to pay 0 0.1 dollar. So I want to show you guys how to retrieve from this website uh, quickly. If I see here, start URLs, I just uh, give empty here. I will just remove all of them. And search terms, if I want to search using certain terms like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, even like that. So it will retrieve all the tweets based on the search terms. I'm just removing that. So this is a Twitter handles in which we have to give the username of the Twitter user. Then it will retrieve all the users' uh, tweets. I'm just uh, keeping Elon Musk here. So if I go to Twitter, the ID for Elon Musk is um, here. You can find it here. We just write it uh, in this box. Elon Musk. Then I just remove this conversation IDs. And I just want 100 tweets. I'm just retrieving 100 tweets. Maximum tweets per query. Uh, I can give it as 100. And I want to get the latest data. You can select the latest media on top. I'm selecting latest. You can filter the tweets even like only verified users and only Twitter blue and only images you want to retrieve and only videos and only the quotes. Like that, you can even select the language here. I'm just doing uh, the default one. And query is that. These are the optional things. I'm just removing all of them. Replying to mention Elon Musk. I'm removing that. In the previous video, I also got uh, so many comments like how to retrieve the tweets using geolocation. So you can do one thing here. Instead of Los Angeles, you can give some other location. And within that radius, like uh, here, it is default 15 kilometers. You can give any number of kilometers as you wish. And geocode here. And place object. You can click on this i button if you want any information for that input. For now, just remove all of them. And if I have uh, minimum retweets for these uh, tweets, like five, it will be retrieving them. So I'll just remove all of them because I want to retrieve all of the tweets. And from which date uh, we can retrieve. As I also got some comments asking, uh, during a specific uh, time of period, uh, I want to get the tweets. So you can also give it here. Instead of this 2021, I want to give 2023 or 2024 with February month. And ending is, let me give March until today. Right. Okay, then let us just collapse this box and run the query. Save and start. If you click on it, it will start running this query. So running the actor, it means running the query. And you can see the price here and results it is zero for now. Duration eight seconds. Within less than one minute, you'll be getting all this data we have requested for. 15 seconds, 19 seconds, 20 seconds. It retrieved 19 results, 79 results uh, already. I think it retrieved all 100 uh, tweets. So within 25 seconds, it retrieved 100 tweets. 
using that 0.01 dollars so if you see uh, for this project they are asking 0.1 dollar for thousand tweets but i have only retrieved 100 tweets so it took only 0.01 dollar so that is not much when compared to five dollars right so you can retrieve like this uh, using any number of uh, queries and using any number of uh, usernames coming to the data you can see them in data frame format here like a table and json here if i click on json it will show it in json format like the url and twitter url id the text like that let's verify these tweets in a uh, twitter ones i'm going to the elon musk twitter ones so if i see the first one is an image and the second one is if you are reading this post it's because our servers are working so this is uh, 23 minutes back i can see the same thing here the first one is like i think it is an image see http if i copy it and paste it over in internet So it is an image post uh, that Elon Musk tweeted. Then if I go to the second tweet, if you are reading this post, it's because our servers are working. So second tweet is nothing but the next tweet uh, Elon Musk tweeted. If you are reading this post, it's because our servers are working. So we are able to retrieve all this data successfully. The retrieve count and the reply count and the likes he got and the quotes, everything we got, the created date and bookmarks count. And whether it is a tweet or a retweet and whether it is a quote or the tweet, like that we can verify here itself. So using this API, we got all this data and it took a 0 0.01 price for um, these 100 results. We can even save it. It is already saved in this run tab. If you go to run tab, it is there here. You can check it anytime, anywhere. If I go to here again, it is showing here. And you can export these 100 results. Click on this uh, green button. Then you can export it using JSON, CSV, XML, Excel, any of these formats. I just want to export this data using CSV. All fields included. And just download. Download. Yes, it's downloading, I think. Yeah, it's downloaded. Let me open the tweets. So if you see here, this is the first row is uh, some headers. If I select the first column A here, it is showing the count as 101 here. And if I go down, we can see other rows as 7, 8, 9, every other rows. If I go at lost, it is not in good formatted way, but yeah, we got all the data right. Let's see in some other format also. I downloaded the Excel sheet now. Now it is also looking same, but with much good format. Uh, I don't think the gaps are there here. You can see the count is 101 here. That is, uh, we got along with the headers, uh, we got count 101. You can preview them in the new tab. Click on it. See, we got all data here. As per your requirement, you can use any of these Twitter scraping projects. There are many options here. You can select all of them and just read on the tips they have given. And you can able to find out uh, what is the information about, what is the input you have to give. And keep an eye on this rate per tweets because you should not waste the free usage uh, for these tweets just for testing. Use wisely. And you can compare all of these projects one by one and you can retrieve the tweets uh, based on your requirement. Let's come back to here. Make it to all categories. As someone asked me how to get the comments for this certain tweet, we can use this Twitter comments scrapper here. So if you go to the project, it is saying uh, $13 per month less usage. If you see here, the price is $13 per month and the free trial is 3 days. Let me show you. I will just start it and just show you how the output looks. Then you can able to see and use it. Because if you go to Twitter website, they are charging more like uh, thousands of dollars just to scrap the data. Instead of that, it will be easy if you just spend this $13 for, per month uh, as per your requirement, right? It is not necessary as they are giving 3 days trial cookies. You have to install this edit, this cookie. I am adding this extension. Add extension. So this extension is added. So then we have to go to the Twitter account. Then I have to click on the extension, edit this cookie. I'll be getting all the cookies here. So I have to copy all of them. So in order to copy them, you have to just export. Cookies copy to clipboard. So you just go to that again. You have to paste the cookies here. My cookies got pasted here. Then the URL of the tweet we want to get comments for. Let me copy one URL. So if I just copy this URL for the Elon Musk post, that is this image post. I'm pasting it here. So the number of records required, uh, I can give 10 maybe like that. Okay, let's start this query now. Click on rent actor. Actor rented. Now save and start. Starting run. Running the actor. Now we can get the comments from there. So I retrieved 10 comments out of these uh, thousands of the comments. This post got like 15k. So if you want to get a 15k comments all of them you have to mention the right number there like 15,000 like that and you can retrieve all of them but based on that usage you will be charged here and until five dollars it is free and after that you have to pay for it it took seven seconds to retrieve all these 10 comments from this uh, post so these comments we can see here the full text here we got everything here and we can view it in next tab like this we can extend this and see every information here we can even save this information using this export tab you can export them in all of these formats you can just download it it will download the data so that's how you use these actors or the automation projects for your case like getting the tweets from the Twitter. You can use any of these projects and as per the usage, you'll get $5 every month. So you, have, you can use $5 and upon that, as per your usage, you have to pay for the service you're using. Feel free to comment down if you have any doubts. Thanks for watching video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe.